All right, the Colorado Trail, Denver to Durango, 539 miles, 72,000 feet of elevation gain, and a 9 out of 10 on the painometer. Hi there. My name is Ryan Van Duzer. I'm born and raised in Colorado. I love bike packing, but I have never done my state's own premier bike packing trail, the Colorado Trail. And that is all going to change right after I pack all this crap on my bike. Zoom! That's my cold bear head snap for you. What do you think? So, I've been on a lot of bike packing adventures in my life, but this one is going to be very different. Mainly, it's going to be a lot harder than anything I've ever done. You know, I've done the Tahoe Twirl, which goes around Lake Tahoe. There's a lot of single track on that, and it's very difficult, but this one is going to be a step above that. On most of my tours, even on the Great Divide, when you're out in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness, you're on pretty groomed gravel roads, and you go through towns pretty frequently. This ride is going to be a little bit different. It is pure wilderness. It is high alpine. The average elevation is about 10,000 feet. It tops out at 13,000 feet. I'm really excited about it because I'm a mountain biker at heart, born and raised in Boulder. I started mountain biking in the mid 90s and I just love it. And I've been eyeing this route for a long time and it's finally happening. My room always looks like such a mess before a big bike tour because I just kind of spread everything out so I can visualize what I need to bring. So the Colorado Trail is really a hiking trail, but they're nice enough to let bikes on it. There are a few wilderness detours where bikes aren't allowed, but other than that, it's about 500 miles of pure single track awesomeness. But the truth is, I don't really know what it's going to be like out there. I've only done a tiny section near Durango, and that part was definitely beautiful, but I've heard from people that it's just very hard. From all the videos I've watched on YouTube and the articles I read, it's hard. There's a lot of sections where you can't even ride. You just gotta hike your bike. But, you know what I'm really excited about? You know me. You know I love those wildflowers, and I think there's gonna be a ton of wildflowers out there. And of course, I'm bringing my signature bicycle, the Priority 600X, a bike that I designed in conjunction with Priority Bicycles. The heart and soul of this bike, of course, is the pinion gearing system with the 600% gear range, the Gates carbon belt drive, and the Wren inverted suspension fork. I really love this bike, and I'm not just saying that because I designed it. I truly love this bike. So I'm gonna go over some of the things that I'm bringing specifically for the Colorado Trail, but this is not a full-on gear video where I'm gonna list out everything that I'm bringing. I have many other gear videos and I will link them down below, but for the most part, my gear setup is gonna be similar to what I always have on my bicycle. But one of the main differences, and because I'm going to be mountain biking for 500 miles, I wanna get some of the weight off my bicycle. I want my bike to be a little bit more quick and nimble. The pedaling is going to be very difficult over some of these steep mountain passes. So I wanna get the water weight off my bike. And so, I just went out and bought one of these bad boys. I have not toured with a Camelback, or actually this is Osprey, in many, many years. And we're gonna see how it goes. I usually don't like wearing backpacks because it just makes your arms hurt by the end of the day. But we're gonna give it a go. Another reason why I'm bringing this is because mountain biking is inherently bumpy. Ah, super shaky. And a lot of times I have my drone and other camera stuff on a front bag here which is usually fine for a, a tour on the roads or even the Great Divide where the, you know, it's smooth and things aren't bouncing around. But I wanna take those cameras off and put them into here so it's just a little bit more you know, sturdy and steady and they don't get rattled to pieces. So this thing holds two and a half liters of water, 85 ounces, which should be good. But I'm also gonna bring another bottle here just in case. From what I've read, there are plenty of water sources on the Colorado Trail. And check this out. Look at this little handy dandy compartment right here. And look what's in there. My Mavic Mini 2. Perfect. I use a SteriPen to purify my water. It's pretty cool. You just dip it into a bottle. It shoots out UV light, kills 
most of the bacteria and viruses and it works really quickly. Boom, look at that. You can't go mountain biking without a dropper post. Traditionally on bikepacking tours, I have a seat pack that goes off right here, connects to the seat post, but you can't use a dropper post when you have one of those bags. So I have put on a rear rack and I will put everything into a dry bag back here. And this is a pretty cool dropper post. It's the PNW Coast and it actually has about 40 millimeters of travel. So it goes up and down a little bit and it will hopefully, you know, give me a little bit of cushion on those big bumps. All of my food, which is all the heavy stuff, will go in my frame bag right here. And I like to keep the weight centered on the bike, especially for mountain biking. It just helps with handling over that technical terrain. Up here on the handlebar, I'm gonna have a tent and some other little bags up here for bars and stuff that I want quick access to. Other cameras, I have my navigation device up here, the Wahoo Roam. So as far as food goes, I keep it pretty simple. I don't travel with a stove. I just bring stuff that I can throw in my mouth quickly and get those calories. I always have a pack of tortillas and beans and Nutella and peanut butter and dried fruits. I also cram in as many bars as possible. There's a lot of calories in these little guys. I also love these little shot blocks. These are like my Super Mario power pellets. This is my new favorite bar, a Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. They just go down so smoothly and they taste really good. For the most part, from Denver to about Buena Vista, I'll have options to buy food every day at gas stations or little grocery stores. But from Buena Vista to Silverton, that's about four days, 200 miles. I won't have any resupply, so I'm gonna have to travel really heavy on those days. And yes, I'm fully aware that cans of beans are heavy, but I don't leave home without them. I just put on these tires and they're pretty burly. I'm excited to try them out. They're 2.6 inches wide and yes, they are set up tubeless. Also, I'm going with flat pedals for this adventure with obviously platform shoes. And the reason is, is I really expect a lot of hiking out there. So I just wanna be able to just get on and off my bike quickly. Usually I do SPD, but for this, I think it's gonna be more comfortable to go with the flats. <laughs> Look at all my toys. So if you follow my channel, you know that I film all of my bike adventures. If you're new to my channel, check it out. I have hundreds of bike packing videos from all over the world. But filming this adventure is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, mainly because the terrain is so bumpy and technical and hard, I'm not gonna be able to film like I usually do. You know, on the Great Divide or any tour on the road, I, you know, I'm on smooth road, so I'm not bouncing around. I can use my GoPro to hold it up here and get an angle here and point it backwards and point it to the side and hold it and talk to it but I'm gonna be on really rough trails and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because it's gonna be so bouncy. So I imagine I'll use the GoPro more mounted to my helmet and to my chest because I'm really gonna be able to, I'm really gonna need to be paying attention to the biking. It was just too dangerous to ride one-handed and use the GoPro when you're mountain biking. Same goes for the drone. I know you all love the drone shots and so do I but I fly this thing manually. And whenever I do, I pick a road that's flat and smooth so that I can pedal while holding the controller in my hand and get these nice cinematic shots. Well, that's also gonna be hard on this trail because it's bouncy. So I imagine I'll be using the drone more for beauty shots when I'm not actually biking. And believe me, there's gonna be plenty of beauty shots. This series is just gonna look a little bit different than my typical series. And then finally, I use this camera the Sony RX100 Mark VII, and this is the beauty camera. This is the flower camera. This is the camera that gets those cool shots with the depth of field and the backgrounds that are out of focus. This is also the camera I use for interviews when I meet interesting people, which I always do. This camera has a little microphone, so the sound is a little bit better than the GoPro. And yes, I'm fully aware that I am totally sweating out my shirt. I have closed all the windows in my apartment because I live on a busy road and it's hard to film when it's so loud. And so it is hot up here like a sauna. Ha ha, sweaty armpits, I win. So another challenge to the filming will be batteries and keeping them charged. On a typical tour, I go through towns all the time where I can plug into cafes and restaurants and hotels. And there will be a little bit of that on the Colorado Trail, but not as much. So I just went out and bought one of these. This is an Anchor power bank. 
It has the most power of all their models. It has like 2,600 milliamps or something. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it can charge a phone like eight times. So this hopefully will keep everything charged so I can get you those beautiful drone shots. And of course I'm bringing an extra belt. It would just be completely irresponsible not to. <laughs> all right, I'm in a bit of a hurry. My mom is coming to pick me up in about an hour, I need to pack all this stuff, put it on that bike. The trailhead is about an hour away in Waterton Canyon. And from there, I will spend the next 10 days of my life riding the beautiful Colorado Trail. And I'm feeling so incredibly grateful that I get to do this. And very grateful that I get to share these videos with all of you. This is an absolute dream job. And if my videos bring value to your life, if you love them, please consider joining my Patreon. It certainly helps keep this channel moving forward. All right, let's do this. Okay, it's all packed up. The next trick is getting a heavy bike down my stairs. There we go. This is gonna be what it's like on the Colorado Trail, up and down steep sections, hike a bike. Might as well get used to it now. Looks pretty steady. Hey, mom, how's it going? Good. How oh, you doing? Look who you brought, little oh, yeah. Chewini. You haven't been on the channel in a while. How you been doing, real quick? I'm good. I'm really good. All right. <laughs> Everybody loves mama. Yeah. There's more than one cute little doggy back here. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming and seeing me off. He definitely yeah. wants to come bike packing. Yes, could, he does. You're a lot smaller than Mira. You could fit. Yeah. You could fit my little front bag. Yeah. Do you think he could scare off any bears? Oh, uh, no. Nope. Yeah. You're so sweet. Goodbye, beautiful boulder flat irons. My mom was also sweet enough to bring me some hot burritos. I am leaving Boulder in style today. And yes, I'm a 42 year old man that has his mom drive him around. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Mom? <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> All right, so here we are in the beautiful Waterton Canyon Trailhead, Mom. Yeah. I can't thank you enough for yeah, driving me. Hey, this was my pleasure. You just be safe. That's the trade-off. That's the trade-off. I promise. Okay. I will be safe. I will come back in one piece. Okay. I'll come back a better man. Okay. All right. And contact me as much as possible. I will. I'll okay. let you know. I love you so much. Okay, I love you too. Oh. And it's not just my mom here, but I have a friend, a new friend named Baylor, who saw that I was uh, starting today on Instagram and said, I want to come ride with you. So this is oh, yeah. Baylor. How you doing, buddy? I'm awesome today. High five. So uh, why do you love riding bikes, man? Just awesome pedaling everything. Feels good, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. And you're going to come with me for a little bit? Yeah. Try All right. and get the trail a little. All right. He's going to follow me for the first however many miles. Let's do it. I Let's like it. it. It's fun to start an adventure with a new friend. And how old are you? 15? 15. I love it. Bye, cutie chewini. You bye. Bye, Lobo. Bye, bye, bye. All right, there it is. The official start. Colorado Trail. Durango's that way. Whoo. You ready, Baylor? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do it. Bye, Mom. I love right. you. Let's do one more hug. All right. Another oh, yeah. hug. Be really, oh, I love you so much. Yep, love you too. You'd be really Thank safe. You. Okay. Love, love. Love. That'll be the theme of the ride. Yeah. Double love. Bye, Mom. I love you. Bye, Bye Chewini and Lobo. <laughs> All right. You know what we're supposed to say now, don't you? Yes. No, no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. <laughs> I love it. I have a little personal guide. He's been here before, right? Yes, many times. This is your backyard? Yeah, it is. Nice. So I know that I won't get lost at least for the first six miles because I have Baylor here. <laughs> It's so good to be starting another adventure. All right, we're climbing and climbing. It is hot. 
And now we are jumping onto the official Colorado Trail. There it is. This is that single track that I was promised. Whoo, it gets steep fast, man. Nice. You wanna switch bikes? Yours looks a little lighter. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> there, nice job, man. Okay. Big switch back here. It's hard chasing a 15 year old. <laughs> oh, here's a technical spot. Oh, not quite. High five, buddy. Bam. Whew. Baylor, so you're not going the whole way with me, not to Durango? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I get it, man. Maybe next time. I appreciate you joining me this far. It was really fun to yeah. meet you. And I wish you all the best. Yeah. Keep riding Likewise. your bike, man. Keep it. Oh, well, yeah. And if I have any advice for you, you know, when you turn 16 next year, don't get a car. When you turn 17, don't get a car. And when you're 42, don't get a car. Deal? Never get a car. Okay. Never get a car. <laughs> so I was about to say goodbye to Baylor here. He's like, wait, wait, I have something for you. He just gave me a Chipotle gift card so I can get some beans. Thank you for right, letting me ride with you today. It's yeah. been awesome. Oh man, it was really special for me too. It is so hot. I've only gone like eight miles. <laughs> but I'm already burning up. Oh, this water feels amazing. <sighs> Whew. I haven't felt this hot in a long time. It was nice to cool off, but boy, <laughs> this is tough. There's no doubt about it. I'm very thankful for these trees. It's cooled things off quite a bit. Made it to my first hike of bike. Maybe you could bike this, but man, it's steep and it's loose. I have not breathed this hard in a long time. This is, this is a challenge. Jungle, going through the Colorado jungle here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I would say this is definitely hike bike. No doubt about it. I'm so excited to be here and grateful to be on this trail and I'm just so glad that this trail exists an hour from my house. Crazy that I haven't been here before. All right, I stopped because I wanna show you something. I've climbed about 2,300 feet. My elevation is about 7,500 feet and I'm getting to the top of the trees and I have some views. Look at this. Look at that beautiful mountain across the way. That is pretty sweet. Okay, buddy, time to go downhill. <laughs>
So I'm flying down this hill and I see a hiker in front of me and she has a bag of Fritos on the back of her backpack and I'm like, mmm, Fritos, and who is this? It's Karen. Hi, How and you? it's Ryan. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been watching your videos and it was so awesome to run into you and I don't look as good as you do, but I'm out here and uh, just hiking the Colorado Trail. You gonna do the whole thing? We'll see. Yeah, that's the goal though? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just doing uh, the probably the first seven segments. Yeah. And what do you love most about being outside in nature? Um, I love just the beauty of it, the people I've met on the trail. Yeah. Well, it's always fun to meet people on yeah. the trail, especially people who actually watch my videos. <laughs> you said that you watched them during the pandemic? Yes, yes. My husband and I watched them and we enjoyed all the videos and all your different adventures, even going back in history. So yeah. it's been a long few years watching you. So. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. That means the world to me. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Well, good. Well, good to meet you on the trail. Totally. Good to meet you too. Best of luck. Thank you. Same to you. And uh, we'll see you down the road. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Bye. sucking down water because it's so hot today. So, time to filter with my SteriPen. So I just looked at what's ahead of me on the map and it's a lot of incline and it's still hot, so I'm gonna cool off. And that is how you cool off on a hot summer day. All right. I've replenished my water. I've replenished my soul by jumping in the water. And it's time to go up. So just to give you an example of what I'm dealing with here, I'm the little triangle and it is up, up, up. And that's what the trail looks like. Up, up, up. Pedal, pedal, pedal. That's been my mantra ever since I started riding bikes. Even when it's hard, just pedal. Even if you're going super duper slow, you're moving forward. And then sometimes walking is the best option and that's okay too. But man, it's a little easier to pedal when it's so beautiful. Everybody told me how stunning this ride would be and it's already Stunning, and this isn't even supposed to be the spectacular part. <sighs> I love my state. The expanse, these mountains, and it's not even that far from Boulder, and I've, I've never seen these mountains. They're incredible. It's almost enough to bring tears of joy. This beauty is just off the charts. I'm very happy to be here.
my camp spot for the night. Looks nice and flat. <sighs> what a day. And I think I'm finishing just in time. There's a little bit of thunder happening right now. I went 28 miles. I feel pretty good about that. A little half day action. It is 7.30 p.m. It's Friday night. You know, big things are gonna happen tonight, like sleeping. I'm a little bit tired, but what a great first day. Tent harness quick release activated. Oh yeah, I love it. it used to be so much harder to tie this thing onto my handlebars and now it just falls right out. Okay, you're going right here, buddy. I look totally ridiculous. I'm just rocking my boxer shorts in my little shoes. But I don't want to put clothes on. It's still hot and my core is hot from today. So I'm just gonna walk around like this for a while and hopefully I don't scare anybody. You know what's for dinner? Another burrito and I'm very excited about it. I'm hungry. <laughs> what a day, what an amazing day. And uh, again, I've said it so many times, I'm so happy to be here, so grateful and fortunate and so cool that Baylor came and met me and rode with me for a while. What a great young man, you know? Good, good guy. And I was so happy that my mom could actually hug me as I was starting the trip. That's never happened before. Usually I have to fly somewhere and I give my goodbyes to mom long before I actually start pedaling. But this one was hug and go. And so I felt fueled by the mama love. And uh, yeah, it might rain a little bit, but that's okay. Colorado Trail in the books. Buenas noches.